Okay guys, we're gonna start working on our wall. Um, this ridge pole is from my main beam here, but uh, I'm gonna cut it and I'm probably gonna use it for this wall. I'm gonna cut it right about here so I get a good length on it and uh, I'll be able to use it for this side over here. Before the knot? No. After it? Yeah, right there, so I can have a little hanging thing. Yeah, just enough. Okay, so since I'm working on this back wall here, I'm going to peel this tarp back and fold it over a little bit. That way it's not in the way. So I can drive some stakes and get this wall figured out. So this tree is the second tree that we cut yesterday for Zach's seed that uh, we didn't wind up building. But um, this is going to be good for stakes to help me pound it into the ground and keep my wall pretty straight. So I'm going to cut this. I'm actually going to clean it up first. I'm going to saw it over here. And this is going to be a good stake, maybe two, to help keep the wall supported and keep them logs stacked straight. I said we cook that steak on a rock. You got a rock? On a corner. of a tip that I use when I'm cutting my logs. When I'm cutting logs on a, on a surface like this where it's uneven or even if it's on an angle, 
Um, you need something to raise your wood because the wood will start pinching your blade um, because it starts to winch in on each other or on itself. So what I do, I've been taking these rocks, you can use another log, I've been taking these rocks and I'm putting it on the right side of my cut. I've been using my leg to stabilize the wood and then I cut it. Sometimes the rocks will fall over, it's fine. Like I said, you can use another piece of wood, but that um, prevents the wood from pinching in on itself and that could damage your blade or even break your blade. And that's not a good situation to be in when you're out here. So just a little tip for you guys while you're cutting wood to help you hopefully save your blade, save your saw. So there we have it guys, that's our wood. We've got seven cut logs. Now I've got to get them back to camp. Okay guys, so this is the pot hanger. You can swing it all the way around, um, on, on the fire, off the fire, whatever you gotta do, you can adjust it like this, all the way up, all the way down. And um, this thing works great. This is the original pot hanger idea that I had in my head, but I forgot some of the key parts but this thing is great. Three Y sticks and it's done. You could do one branch or one small tree or the top part of a tree and you have your stick. So I'm gonna let my gloves dry. Love this pot hanger. Gonna get a drink and then get back to work on our wall. So my gloves are dry now. I am rehydrated, had a little bit of a snack. Getting ready to go. Zach is actually getting lunch on so we can have some protein and some pasta. Like I said, I've got my logs lined up here so I can see which ones are bigger, which ones are smaller, and we're pretty much going to get to lining them up and um, stacking them, getting the stakes in the ground, and building our wall. If I can put my glove on the right way.
Perfect. God, I'm good. So while I build my wall, Zach is going to make the bench a little bit better, more equipped to him. Um, it's a little bit short, a little bit low to the ground, so he's gonna raise it a little bit. He's gonna level it out. We got the shovel out here he's digging out right now. And uh, this, this bench should look pretty good. So these are the sticks that we're going to be using for our stakes. I'm going to get two out of this one, probably only one out of this one, but I think that's all I need. I'm just going to take it over here, like that, this one, like that, taper it. Alright, that's one. We're getting two out of this one. So it's gonna go right here. Taper it. these two at some point so that they're like 
strong. That's just helping them not fall, you know? When do you do the tie? Once it gets to about here, maybe How high do you have that. up to? You probably have to about here. Yeah, I got a couple more. That's a good height. You can almost leave a window, like. 